Hello and welcome to this tutorial which shows you how to program the cubic formula into your TI-83 or TI-84 calculator. I had made this video before but as many have noted in the comment section it was a very poor quality video and very hard to read what was on the screen. So in answer to that I am re-going over this program with all of you now in a much better quality format. Just for the sake of time, I'm going to be taking some shortcuts and some liberties in this video since it is a remake of one that I've already done. So please bear with me. I will show very important things to note before I go into the program in depth, but it should be noted that I will not be re-going over those as we go along in the video. To start from the home screen, hit the program key, and then arrow over to the column that has new, and hit enter on create new. Here we're going to name this program Cube2. Alright, before I go into this program further, I'm going to note some very important things to remember as you go through this program. The A plus BI at the beginning there, you see, can be found under second, zero, and then going down till you see A plus BI in the A section. The power of three button can be found under math, option three, which is that floating three there and then the cubic root is directly below that math option four alright let's jump into this program as you see on that first line it says a plus b i and then on that second line you're going to go prompt a comma b comma c comma and d and on the new line you're going to put in parentheses 2b, that cube symbol I showed you before, minus 9abc plus 27a squared d, put the in parentheses after that, and that arrow key you see there is the sto arrow key above the on switch, so I'm going to refer to that as the sto key, and then the letter f. And on the new line, 4, in parentheses, b squared minus 3ac, in parentheses, and that cube option I showed you before, stow arrow key, e. On the next line, the square root of f squared minus e, in parentheses, stow key, g. And then on the next line, in parentheses, 1 plus the square root of negative 3, and then put 2 in parentheses there, divided by, in parentheses, 6a, in parentheses, stokey, h. On the new line, in parentheses, 1 minus the square root of negative 3, 2 in parentheses, divided by 6a in parentheses stokey i now this next line we're going to hit in parentheses negative b minus the cube root which is math option 4 of 0.5 times in parentheses f plus g 2 in parentheses minus the cube root of 0.5 parentheses f minus g, 3 in parentheses, divided by, in parentheses, 3a, in parentheses, stokey, z. On this next line, we're going to put in parentheses, negative b, divided by, in parentheses, 3a, in parentheses, plus h, cube root of 0.5 parentheses f plus g 2 n parentheses plus i cube root of 0.5 in parentheses f minus g 3 n parentheses stokey y on this next line in parentheses negative b divided by, in parentheses, 3a, in parentheses, plus i, q 
cube root of 0.5 in parentheses f plus g 2 n parentheses plus h cube root of 0.5 in parentheses f minus g 3 n parentheses Stokey w bring up a new line display in quotation marks x1 equals quotation mark comma z and then that fr fraction thing that you see after that can be found by doing math option one the next line display quotation mark x2 equals quotation mark comma y and then fraction again on the new line display quotation marks x3 equals quotation mark comma w and then once again that fraction thing and on the next line under second zero go down to the r section and find real and hit enter and then enter one more time and that's the end of this coding session to get out of the screen hit second and mode and then to see if this is working properly we're going to give it a test run under program find cube 2 and hit enter hit enter one more time and it's going to ask us for the various variables we have in this program for a we're going to select one and hit enter once you're done with each of these for b it's going to be three c is going to be two and d is going to be zero once you're done with that hit enter and x1 should be negative 2, x2 should be negative 1, and x3 should be 0. And these are the roots of this particular cubic polynomial. So, if this is what you get, your program is working properly. Thank you for listening. If you enjoyed the content of this video, I have many more like that on my channel, so go there to see more, and subscribe to see more videos in the future. Thank you for watching this program, and I hope it will be helpful.